subjective, right? I, I really want you to agree with me in this principle. Do we agree that subjective experiences can be false? Even they if someone's... Be, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's where I wanted to get to. So now we both agree that your subjective experiences can be false. But it depends as well also what other things they experience from. Maybe they did experience something true. Yeah. But what they saw, what they saw at the other end of it, might not have been what what they think it was. Like yeah. On that apply to you though. But maybe they what they were, maybe the essence of the essence behind it was truth. But maybe they saw something and they thought they just they just put a name to it. Okay, but again, that's again you're just interpreting the way a subjective like that, experience that, that can is. To him as well. Yeah, that's the thing is, I'm not saying I saw anything though. No, no, but every. I never said I saw anything. No, that's fine. You don't have to say you saw anything, but everything that you're saying to us applies rightly back to yourself, because you're saying that a subjective experience it could be true to them. Their interpretation could make them feel happy. It could give them pleasure. Well, I would say, I yeah? would say, if they're experiencing yeah. pleasure, if, if, no, no, no. You said pleasure and joy. If they're experiencing yeah. a sense of oneness between the divine. And all of existence, and their experience is true. But unfortunately, that contradicts your principle. Because the same principle that you're saying to me, that if they experience oneness, they experience pleasure, they experience joy, is the same thing a Hindu can say to me. And it's and not just saying to me, yeah, they, they say that. That's what I said. So, they so that means, according to, your, yeah, according to your principle, sorry, according to your principle, Krishna is also the truth. If they had the, no, if, you, should, you should be a perennialist. Yeah. No, 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 no. you should embrace all, all religions. Because yeah. you. your criteria is basically allowing the subjective experiences well, of other religions to be I'm true saying, as well. I'm saying maybe what they experienced was true, yeah. but what they, they interpreted it wrongly. What, how they interpreted it was different. I have to say the same thing to yourself. Maybe no, you're but I never said I claim to see anything. No, but you said, because of your experiences, you claim no, to be Ebonite. You could have okay, interpreted okay, the okay, feelings. Okay, but I, I guarantee you, without the Krishna or 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 Guru Nanak or anyone like that, yeah. forget the forget the figures that they might they might yeah. have saw in the process. Forget them. The 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 the, the identity identify the the, the the witnessing that they felt, what they witnessed about, about themselves and about life. Would have, would have been the same thing as the, what I'm saying. They would have said the same so thing. So you're saying that there if is... If they really had a, a, a proper experience, they would say the same thing. Look, or, already we've already established that subjective experiences can be wrong. Okay? So subjective experiences can be false. Even though you can say the interpretation may be wrong, even the interpretation is subjective. That's what we're saying to you, as Muslims, as a Christian yourself, you should not rely on subjective experiences for your criteria of truth. You should not rely on subjective experiences on your foundations. You should not rely on subjective experiences on the implementation of your religion. This is wrong. And already I can see that every single question that you're posing back to me goes right back at yourself. When you talk about pleasure, when you talk about unity of God, the exact same thing a Hindu, a Jewish individual could say the same thing Jewish person saw Moses, a Hindu saw Krishna. It doesn't matter if you're saying the interpretation is wrong. If you're saying the interpretation is wrong, your interpretation can also be wrong. That's what I'm trying to say no, to you. I'm saying the interpretation of who they saw. Yeah, the interpretation of who they saw no, can be wrong. I'm not denying. I'm not denying the, the reality that they that they felt. So the reality that they felt was Krishna. So you accept the reality to be true. Exactly. Maybe they felt Krishna. If, if they, if 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 I'm just, I'll say that if they experience, had an experience and they didn't realize who they were in that essence of the divine then they didn't have a true experience that's what i'm trying to say to you so that means you're, you're basically saying that true experience could be invalid right you just said to me that that experience may not be true yeah because the truth because the true experience yeah. will show you who you really are that's fine so that's what i'm trying to say to you the same logic and information exactly what i'm saying to you at the start everything you're saying to me goes right back at you the same experience and the same interpretation may not be true for yourself that's what we're trying to establish is that a subjective experience is not a good foundation the way we look at truth is not we just oh i have an experience i have a feeling i have my emotions no put your emotions to the side it wasn't my, it was my, look, my emotions. i believe i believe it is with all due respect i believe it's your emotions, it went my emotions. i believe it's your experiences i believe they the things that you've you've had you've seen or whatever miracles that you claim to be seeing is not the criteria of truth that's what we're establishing and you already from your principles you said to me listen subjective experiences may not be the truth the interpretation of the reality you're seeing may not be the truth every single thing goes back to you i know mystics are individual that has some sort of uh you know like some people some mystics are people that 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 experience the divine reality okay uh, of union with god so can i ask you the question how do you know that mystic actually has the unity of god experience how do you know that's true how how do you assess the criteria Based on what they say, what they say. So you're just going to accept if anyone, if he claims to be a mystic and he claims that he's at unity with God, would no, you believe not him? Just what, not just what they say, it depends how they are. So let's say if that person's pious, let's say that person goes to the church every single day, you're going to accept his, his, his word? Yeah, but it, it, it depends if you can, if you can relate to it. 
if that you're supposed to you're supposed to receive something from them, and it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to you're supposed you're, you're supposed to relate to what they're saying. You find God. Like God I asked you last week. God is God is all that there is. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. So hang on, hang on. Uh, that, that, that's, that's not even God, a definition. God is, God is, you gotta be, you got to be clear. Yeah, speak about God. Let's, let's understand God. Let's understand your concept of God. Who is God? And how do you understand God? Yeah. Then we'll give you an Islamic understanding of God, God as well. God is a spirit. Are you a spirit? Yeah. What, physically? You're a spirit. How can I physically be a spirit? Well, you're made up. Exactly. This is, this is the problem. But you yeah. said that everything. This is, is the God. problem. This is, like saying, this is like saying, you know what? I'm a Christian, but I believe in Krishna. This is the problem. Yes. Your definition, your belief is not consistent with the definition that you're providing. Yes. Are you are you a male? I, it appears that way, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Come on. Wait, wait. You're not gender fluidity. We have this problem, yeah? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not following gender fluidity. So you're wait, a male. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. But subjectively, subjectively, according to your standard, you can't you can't refute them. Because if they've been there female, yes. then you can't say anything. Yes. I forget what they feel. That's the whole point. That's that's the whole listen, point. the whole ten minutes is the conversation no, we're having would, is about feelings. I would, I would say, I would say, look, <laughs> our soul or our spirit, whatever you want to call it, has both masculine and feminine qualities, right? Masculine and feminine qualities. Yeah. Where do you get this from? It's masculine and feminine energy. I don't know. Where do you get this from? It's just, it's, 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 so you just made it up? No, I didn't make it up. I did a lot of study. What study? Yeah. What's your? So thought? you put your trust in that study. No, but I'm, there is a matter. Objectively, is a you took this study as truth. But yet, on the other hand, you embrace your subjective experiences. So you can't have a cake and eat at the same time. Do you understand what I mean? Do you, do you understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah? yeah, yeah? yeah. So anything that's subjective experience, you can't, you can't say it's true. You can't prove to me objectively. Do you understand? Do you understand where the problem lies? I think here? even if I could prove it to you, you still wouldn't believe me. Okay, do you believe with certainty that God exists? Yes. Is that subjective or is that objective? I believed it before, but when I had my experiences, it just confirmed Forget it. about experiences. If someone is an atheist, yeah. would you say the atheist is correct? No. So that means you objectively believe it's true. What you believe is true, not subjective. Okay, go on. So that means you have to respect the atheist opinion that there is no God, but you know deep down they're wrong. Yeah, of course. Of course. So, object, so therefore, you can't go by your subjective feelings. This is my whole point. Because I'm not they, going by my feelings. You are going you by are, your feelings. You are, because you, you said, you, look, look, you don't have a criteria. What you're doing, you're following your desires. And this is what Allah says in the Quran. Allah says, do you not see the one who takes his desires as his own God? This is the problem. You're following your desires, and your desires, you know, I think, your, your, your desires will leave you. Your desires you know, will I think, leave you. I think you. I think you guys are blaspheming in the fact that, uh, the fact that no, you think that the Satan can give you the kind of experiences that God can give you. Wait, wait. Why is Satan in this equation? Because you said, was it the one of you two say when I said when I said about the joy and the truth that I that I witnessed? Yeah. And you're saying, well, you, that might have been the devil. You know, you know that wasn't the devil. So someone who's a psychopath takes the joy of killing people. Is that right? That's not, that's not joy. And his experiences come well, from Satan as well. Joy. That's, just, that's just a quick kick they get. Have you, have you seen the interview? Have you seen those psychopaths? They, they say have, themselves. Have you seen the, the, the what's his name? The, uh, he's known as the Night Stalker in, 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 in LA. Long time okay, ago. Yeah, we know Richard him. Ramirez. Yes. Do you know him? Ted Bundy. Have you ever, have you ever seen the interviews? No. Don't watch the interviews. They're psychopaths. They enjoy with pleasure. Yeah. Do you know what that? No, what that? What you're describing is, and I feel sorry for these people because at the end of the day, everybody is trying to fill a hole. And you are, and you are they are, exactly. Exactly subjectively. I was, gonna, I was about to say, everybody is trying to fill a hole differently. Yeah. Everybody, every single human being in this world. Do you not see that's the problem? But then you're saying that you're doing it correctly and everyone else is doing it wrong. Yeah. And no, they're I'm saying you're doing it wrong and they're going to think that they're the ones who are doing it right. Well, yeah, if they're doing it, if you're trying to kill people just to get that, feel that. Feel Why is killing people? That joy. What, what if they get so harm in something? That same so joy what? that So what? I enjoy. I enjoy killing people. See, there you go. Here's the problem. So where do you get your objective standard from? From the Creator. Yes. Not from you, not from your desires. Yeah, I know. And, and I ask you the question. If I never you said from our desires. No, I'm asking the... Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, so, what, so what reason do you believe in what you're saying that you have divine essence? You're one with God. Give me evidence, objectively. Just like, for example, 2 plus 2 equals to 4. You can objectively explain to me why 2 plus 2 equals to 4. Not that 2 plus 2 equals to 5. 
Yeah. Yeah. So can you prove to me objectively why you are one with God, or is it because I believe subjectively? Emotions. That's why. Well, 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 I can't. I can't prove it to you unless I've unless I've learned to work. So if you can't prove it to me, then you gotta respect what the atheists believe in. But you don't deep down. You know there is God. There is the Creator. No, you're right. Exactly. So my question. So therefore, subjective truths, as the brother said, may Allah bless him. You gotta look. Keep put your desires to one side. Yeah. Seek for the truth. So you're 